Hello everybody, today we're gonna learn how to make a button that fades and change the brightness whenever you roll over. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna change the color of the background and the, <clears throat> the zoom in and let me put a large dimension of the timeline. Okay, let's start by drawing a simple uh, rectangle on the dark gray okay just like that now let's select this rectangle and let's convert it to a symbol and a movie clip and we gonna call it um, MC Bevel now let's convert this movie clip actually let's apply a filter to this movie clip a bevel filter let's put the angle at 90 degrees let's change the color to the second darkest gray and second lighter gray let's put the quality to high and let's change the blur okay now let's convert this movie clip again to a button and let's call it btn1 now by double clicking the button we're gonna go inside this button and by holding option we can copy the keyframe of the state up to the other states let's go on the over state and by selecting the button uh, now we can go in properties and change the brightness so we can put it darker or brighter let's make it uh, brighter so whenever whenever we gonna we're gonna go over this button it's gonna change okay now let's make another layer in the button layer in the button I'm sorry inside the button and let's write something so let's get a nice red and let's say play okay let's put this play here and actually let's put it bigger let's put it here there you go center okay so our button now if we test it it's gonna change color actually brightness now let's go out and let's convert again this button in another movie clip and let's say let's call it fade underscore mc by double clicking we go inside fade movie clip hold option and drag it to the frame number 15 uh, select a frame and create a motion twin on the first frame we can select the button and select alpha on zero so whenever let's see if I can get you in the same yeah whenever it's gonna load it's gonna fade in okay now on the last keyframe we need to open the window window action panel and make a stop right so that this is prevent uh, basically the button keep fading and fading and fading okay now we have to also give the button an action so let's go back to the actions but by not selecting the keyframe but the button we gonna say 
on a release open curly brackets double enter close it go inside I go to and stop at the frame number two for instance but if we write this the, the button is gonna send me here on the frame number two inside fade movie clip so we have to say to tell him to go back to scene one frame number two so for to do that we have to write underscore root dot go to and stop frame number two so now the button is gonna go out on scene one and here on frame number two so on frame number two we're gonna create a new layer insert a blank keyframe we can load an image image we're gonna send it to the stage perfect and on this image of course we have to open the action select the, the frame and say uh, stop okay so now we have a button that fades change the color and go stop let's test the movie Okay, we have, I forgot, we have to make a stop here on frame number one as well. Okay, so you go on frame number one and you put a stop as well. Uh, let's check the movie. The button fades in, you go on top, change color, and whenever you click, it's going number two. Perfect. And thank you so much following this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed and hopefully you learn something for your project.